So what we're going to look at is some questions for um, looking at volume of rectangular prisms. In this case, we've just got some um, done in some, some little cubes that have been joined together, and we're going to work out what their volume is. So first one I'm going to pick is A, and it's basically just counting the cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can do whatever you want, but I'd put that answer as six cubes. If you're doing, say, C, you're going to be looking at how many you've got in this lot of cubes, okay? So you've got two layers, and you count them across, and you've got another layer behind it, okay? So you sort of, if you can work out a front, you can multiply it by two, because you've got um, one behind it. This one here, you've just got one layer, so you can work out how many cubes across and how many down. Same on this one, you can work out how many cubes across, how many down. So this is like your length, your height, and this one is your width, all right? Same with this one, you just need to break it up a bit. This one here, you would have to keep in mind, this is why I'm giving you some hints on the other ones, but I'm just gonna get calculate these ones. This one here, I'd go one, two, three, four, five. This would be the same, so I've got 10 total so far. So one, two, three, oh, let's just keep counting. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's giving me ten, but I'm actually the ten, ten's not the answer because I've got eleven up here, and I've actually got two behind where behind I'm going to try to behind these two. They're sort of in that corner. So the answer to this one would be thirteen cubes. So this one's completely working out shown for each of these solids. So I'm not going to do each of these, but I've just got these questions here. So what I'm, all these questions are asking is, I've got four, so that's my four, that's my length. My width is two, my height is three, and I'm going to calculate that. So four times two is eight times three is 24. Okay, and that's 24 centimeters cubed. One like this, don't forget the units, okay? And if you see this, remember if that is uh, that means that's the same line. So this is basically a cube. I'm going to let you work those ones out. Again, I'm not going to do all these. I've just got a, a few examples. So find the volume of these rectangular prisms. So I've got a bit of a range here. So let's look at this one here. So let's, I'm just going to write A over the side here. I'm going to go V equals length times width times height. So the volume here is length is seven times four for my width times three for my height. And that would give me an answer of 84. Now remember, that's not my final answer because I've got to put my units and my units here are in meters. So it's gonna be meters cubed. B would be very similar. So would C change orientation a little bit. If we did D, it's a cubed, it's a, cu it's a cube, it's a cube. So my length, my width, width and my height are the same. So if I did D, volume equals length cubed. So I'm gonna go three cubed, which basically means three times three is nine times three is 27. So I'm gonna write 27 and remember my units here are centimeters. So I'm gonna go centimeters cubed. Okay, so if you did this E is very similar to that, so is F. You just, you just have to keep in mind the units we're looking at here. When we're looking at G, let's put G, okay? That means that length is 10, so uh, oh, God, I shouldn't have put equals there. V equals, and I did that the same up there. Oops. V equals 10, uh, let's actually write the volume. Uh, God, I'm not going very well there. Length times width times height. My length is 10. My width is also 10. And my height is one. The reason I said the width is 10 is because I've got those double lines. That means if that's 10, that means that is 10 as well. So 10 times 10 is 100 times one is 100. So it's gonna be 100 meters cubed, all right? And don't forget that you're gonna have a very similar thing for H. So let's have a look at this. I might just pick one. I've got a fruit box is 40 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide, 30 centimeters wide, 20 centimeters high. So if I did four, 
what we're going to do there is we're just going to draw a box. This really doesn't have to be the scale. 40 centimeters long, so I'm going to put 40 centimeters there. 30 centimeters wide, I'm going to put 30 centimeters there. 20 centimeters high. And so if we know our volume, so sometimes it's use, really useful to draw, do a drawing because it can help you um, work out what needs to go where. And that means I'm gonna go volume equals length times width times height. And so my length is 40, my width is 30, and my height is 20. So I'm gonna calculate that. So the answer to that is going to be 24,000 centimeters cubed. And it's that because that is my units there. So I think you can give five and six a go. Let's have a look at um, a composite solid. This is like composite area, similar type of idea. Um, so you just need to think of the same process here. So I'm just gonna do A, and they've given you a hint here. There's my two shapes. You can pick whichever shapes you want. But if I look at that, I can see that if this is three here, my total is five, that means that has to be two up there. If this is two, this is also going to be two. So those are the two shapes I've got to look at. In this case, in this case, it, I'm adding and add the volume of these two shapes together. So let's do, let's break it up and go volume one and volume two. Okay. So volume one, that's my one there, length times width times height, it's going to be three times a width, which we said was two, which is, and the height is going to be two. So that's three times two is six, times two is 12, and that's going to be centimeters cubed. I'm going to go volume two, so that's this one here. And now length times width times height again. My length in this case is going to be two, because that's that bit there. My width is also going to be two. And my height, so you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, try to pick a color you can see. That's gonna be four, okay? Times four. So two times two is four, times four is 16. Again, 16 centimeters cubed. So I'm gonna go V total equals V1 plus V2, that's 12 plus 16, that's gonna be 28, remember, centimeters cubed, okay? So in a, in what something like this, this I'm not gonna actually do um, this next one, let's just get rid of this so I don't run over, run, run over it. So for B, this is going to be a subtraction type one. So you're going to need to get the volume of this big shape, find the volume of that small shape. So basically you need to find, let's actually write that down. Just to give you an idea, V1 equals big um, cuboid. I'm going to say V2, that's V2 and this is v1 just so we can make that distinction v2 is small cuboid and v total is going to be equal to v1 the big cuboid minus v2 okay and if you think about it, I'll let you work out that if that's a subtractive type one or and, and add, in, add in two composite solids or adding or subtracting two composite solids to work out a thing, but I'll give you a go, let you work out C, okay?